Hello everyone, I hope you all are well and having a good day so far. So I've owned several little green machines. In fact, back in September, I did a comparison video of all three machines that I have. And although they've served me very well, none of them have the technology to heat up the water. So I immediately thought it is time for an upgrade when I found this baby. This is the Bissell Little Green Hydro Steam. So this machine has all the magic that a carpet cleaner has to offer offer combined with the steam. I'm a big believer when it comes to cleaning things with the steam. I have a couple steam cleaners and I've seen how water alone can clean and disinfect. So I put it up to work the moment it arrived. I cleaned some stains off my stairs and drug and it erased them. So I went after my white couch and it made it look any great again. I can see the steam really brings out the dirt and the stains and when I'm clean and I see the steam going, I know it is sanitizing at the same time. So I can truly say by far this is the best model I've ever used and today I am really excited to share my review with you all, show you guys how to use it and how to clean it. So before we get started on this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below, hit that thumbs up and with all of that said, let's get to it. Now for starters, I really like the design, it's very beautiful and it came all assembled and put together and I really like how small and compact it is, great for our old house that lacks storage. And it has dual tank system, they are very easy to remove. So this is the clean water tank, so it holds about 64 ounces of water. And like you saw, it's very easy to remove and it is large enough. So you can definitely clean a large area without interruption. And to put it back, you just click it back into place like this. And this is the dirty water tank. It is also very easy to remove. It holds about 51 ounces of water and it's also very easy to keep it clean because this top, it is totally removable. You can remove it like this. In the previous versions, you could never get everything out and clean it properly. But this one, you will be definitely able to do that. And to close it, you just align the top on it like this and rotate the handle forward. And in the back here, we have the power cord. So the cord length is about 15 feet. And I really like this holder, it works perfectly. And it has a quick release feature. So to do that, you just rotate these clips inward like this to quickly remove the cord. And the hose length is about five feet. And I really love how the cord and hose is stow away on the unit itself, making it very easy and portable to store. And this machine weighs around 13 pounds, so it is relatively light enough to carry around and move. And as far as for attachments, this really depends on the model you buy. Now this specific one that I got here, it came with this 5 inch tough stain tool. This ideal to use for carpet, upholstery and large stains. And it also came with this multi-service tool to use for tile, grouts and shoes. And lastly, it came with a bottle of a cleaning solution. And when you run out, you can definitely buy a bigger bottle. I got this one from Walmart. And all the attachments, they attach onto the hose with a clip that is very easy to put on and remove while you are cleaning and moving around. Now, some other models may come with different tools and a hose self-cleaning attachment. Mine did not, but I'll show you guys how to clean the hose once we're done using the machine. All right, guys, now I want to show you how easy it is to fill up. So first remove the water tank, flip the cap to open. Now fill it up with water and solution based on the size of your mess. It has lines for water and solution for small area and large area. So fill it up with water until you get to the water mark and then top it off with the solution. Now close the cap and click it back into place. Now to turn the machine on, you have to select a cleaning mode. And to turn it off, you just have to rotate the dial back to the off position. So it has three cleaning modes. So the first one is steam wash. This one gives you water and steam. It is like the max clean mode. And next we have steam. This one gives you steam only. And lastly, we have wash mode. Now this one gives you water only and it's really handy to give whatever you are cleaning a nice traditional rinse. 
All right, guys, now I'm going to demonstrate using the machine over some old set stains. So once you're ready to use it, have a bucket next to you, or you can also do this over your sink. Because once you select a mode with the steam, first you have to wait for the light to come on. It takes about 30 seconds for the machine to preheat. But once that happens, now you have to press and hold the trigger button over your bucket to prime it until you get the steam going. Now I'm going to point my tool above the stain and press and hold the trigger button to spray it with water and solution. Now just release the trigger button and I'm going to use the bristles to scrub and clean the stain. Now once you stop using the steam, excess water will build up, so when you go back to use it again, it is normal for some water to come out before the steam. All you have to do is continue to press and hold the trigger button for 5-10 more seconds until steam comes out. You can do this over your bucket or over your carpet, it's up to you. But once you prime it, it should give you a consistent hot steam the entire time you are pressing the trigger button down. All right guys, it took care of the stains very well, but I just want to mention something really quick. When I was reading some reviews about this machine, I read some people mentioned leaky tank when handled. So far, I have never had any issue with either tank leaking on me. This is my dirty water tank. As you can see, it is not leaking. It should not leak. Just make sure you don't allow the dirty water tank to get full past the max line. And if this is not the issue for you, maybe you got a defective machine. So I would just contact the company. But now let me find something else to clean. For this next test, I'll be cleaning this dirty carpet mat and I will be focusing on the side that is dirtier so I can show you guys a before and after comparison. Alright guys, the shots after say it all, I am amazed at how quickly and completely we cleaned this half and we removed the stain. But now I have to clean the other half because I can't leave it looking like this. And just a side note, surprisingly it is one if not the quietest carpet cleaner I've ever used. It is like half as loud as the previous versions which is always a plus. Alright guys, now I'm going to demonstrate this multi-surface tool on some grout here and I have the machine set to steam only. I've dirty up this pair of sneakers for this video, so let's see if this machine can clean up this mess. I switched to the 5 inch tool to clean the carpet inside my husband's truck. It seems to be doing a great job. Now after you're done using the machine, it's actually really easy to rinse out and clean. So first make sure you empty the dirty water tank after each use and give it a nice rinse. And to clean the hose, you can attach the 5 inch tool on it and suction some clean water from a bucket. And you can also lift and stretch the hose until all the water is cleared. And lastly, clean the tools. You can lift the latch to remove the clear cover and you can give that a good clean. Alright guys, overall I really like this machine, not only because it works great, but it is also super easy to use and to clean up afterwards. So I really think this machine makes a great addition to every household, especially one with pets or kids, because the combination of a carpet cleaner and the steam technology ensures that not only the stain is lifted, but odor is also neutralized, which makes it perfect for pets or kids access. And I really like how small and compact it is, so it really doesn't take a real 
state in your home. I have a full-size carpet cleaner, but man, it is such a process to pull out and use, especially for a small mess. But this is my perfect middle ground for spot cleaning or even fully cleaning the carpet on my stairs or vehicles. But with this, we complete this video, my friends. I really hope that you all enjoyed it and found it helpful. Now, if you did, please thumbs it up, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.